Alright, so now, let's understand why seventh chords work the way they do. Let's take, for example, it's easy because we all know it, C, C, E, G, B, flat, okay? And that's going to lead us to what key? Now, C is going to lead us to what key? Fire, um, not fire, Bri Brian says that this C7 chord is going to lead us to a 7th, which is F. But that's wrong. It doesn't lead us to the 7th, which is F. It leads us to, 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 it, to the first of, of the key, okay, which is F, okay? So if I go like this, F, A, C. Now, we have to understand why does this C7 chord work so well going to this F. Well, we have this C right here, okay? Let's maybe get a blue marker. Let's get a little blue. I'm blue. Da, 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 da. Okay, is this dry erase? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now here's a C, okay? It's going to lead us, this C is going to lead us back um, to here, to this C, okay? So that's why that works. Boom, done, taken care of. This E is a half step interval is going to lead us to this F. Now this A is going to lead us to this B flat. And then the G, since the G is a fifth of the chord, okay, because the G is, is the fifth of the chord, it really doesn't really create a harmonic movement, okay? All right, so this, this C leads you to this C. This B flat, the half step of the B flat pulls you down to this A. And this E pulls you up to this F. So this tension between this E going to this F and this B flat going to this A creates so much movement, so much tension, that you're going to want thanks, thanks fire big time. All right? Is that when I play this F or this C7, you're screaming to go back to the F. Okay? John who, that's the same F that's used in That's right. Uh, and then I forget how, how it goes. Okay. Uh, then it goes um, um forget but if you don't know then now you know that's why seventh chords work guys and that's why you should use them and if you want to get really funky with it add a ninth to the chord add an eleventh to the chord add a thirteenth make it suspended maybe you don't even, you know you don't even have to know what the chord is how about this chord I don't know what it is sounds kind of cool to me how about if I were to play this one yeah, I love what sounds kind of insane let's let's say if I were to play this one a cool chord. What if I were to play this one? Um, a little bit different. But you know what? That's how you get better, guys, is that you try things out. You experiment. Why does the seventh chord work? Now you know. Tomorrow you learn something else. Next day you learn something else. If you don't know, then now you know. Every day we're learning new stuff. And every day we're exploring. We're trying things out. Finding out what, what, uh, what works. This is your daily music lesson with Walt. Thanks for tuning in. You guys rock.